Hey everyone, welcome to the recap video for episode 3 of Beyond the Kit, the show where we tear into the still beating hearts of our DIY gear and ask the big questions like, can I use a different transformer on my CTX? Okay, I don't know how big a question that is, but that was exactly the question for episode 3, and the answer was a resounding yes. Cinemag is known for their high-end transformers, but the CTX uses a Cinemag line-level transformer specially picked for its flaws. It has a steel core and is American-made and has a fair amount of distortion. Nothing like a distortion pedal would have, but that isn't the goal here. This is more about a musical sort of distortion that can warm up and glue a mix together. For the purposes of our mods, though, I was hoping to end up with something a little less polite. The Tamara transformer from the color phone seemed like a good bet as it was designed to be used in telephones, not for pro audio. Just to give an example. I went through all the drawers in the office and found all the transformers I could find with a 1 to 1 ratio. I grabbed the Triad TY250P transformer from the TM79 and the Tamura TTC105-1 from the color phone and the 2523 Trifilar transformer from the vintage output and the Zycon 42 TL016 transformer from the AWB95 low speed kit. If you're wondering what sort of transformers would work well on the CTX board, well as long as the transformer has a 1 to 1 turn ratio, it will probably work or at least I wouldn't be afraid of trying it. The turn ratio I keep referring to works like this. Transformers are made up of two coils of wire. The signal goes into one coil, called the primary coil, and in doing so gets turned into a magnetic field. Then a secondary coil, called the secondary coil, picks that magnetic field back up and converts it back into an electrical signal. And if the amount of turns or winds in each coil of wire is the same, it would have a ratio of 1 to 1. If they were different, it would change the voltage seen on either side of the transformer according to the ratio, but since we aren't using the transformer for anything other than its distortion, we want the voltage to stay the same, so the turns ratio should be 1 to 1. I used some alligator clip wires so I could clip directly onto the pins of the transformers I was switching between. None of the transformers match the footprint for the CTX, but there's nothing stopping you from flying out wires and then zip tying any transformer you want onto that PCB. I imagine that would look pretty sick. After looking up the pinouts for a transformer, I would rig it up and run some signal through and take a listen. Then I used Room EQ Wizard, which is becoming a favorite tool of mine, to look at the frequency response and harmonic distortion graphs for each transformer we tried. The distortion graphs ended up becoming the star of the show. They're a really helpful tool for wrapping my head around what levels of distortion are happening and in which parts of the frequency domain. The difference in sound was sometimes subtle, like with the triad from the TM79, and other times less subtle like on the Zycon from the AWB95 color. I think the color phone transformer would be a fun transformer to have as a variant. Um, it measured considerably higher levels of distortion, but not so much as to make it totally unusable. It would be a creative choice though, but that's what this is about. Towards the end of the stream, it occurred to me that the Zycon transformer had leads to cut the number of turns used in the transformer in half. This was likely done so you could configure it for a 2 to 1 ratio in either direction, but I realized it might be far more susceptible to distorting if I used fewer turns in its coils. This was an understatement. The thing freaked out and had harmonic distortion that was almost as loud as the original signal. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice and dramatic. <laughs> Crazy unsubtle, especially on drums and bass. I'm pretty stoked about that discovery and may even make up a CTX with that setup to keep around. And that's what we got into in episode 3. Tune in May 26th at 3pm Eastern Time for episode 4 where we will reconfigure the color phone color from XQP Audio. Thank you for watching. <laughs>